The third event of the second season of the Team Cordula Marbley and the first event of the B Division brings us back to a classic. It's balancing. And for both divisions, actually, we're going to be outside the Sludge Bowl in the Slime Bowl Secondary Stadium. But the beam is set up in the exact same way. And if you remember from qualifiers, the Majestic Melons just five off a perfect run. They are the team to beat in this event. Have to watch out for them. The Shadow Riders, though, have a nine-point lead over the Poison Ivy in the standings, our championship leaders. Then it's a further three points down to the Slime Balls in third, coming off a first and a 16th place finish in the first two events. But we're going to go straight into the heat of things with the Yellow Lotus starting us off. Mid-pack in the standings and a pretty good team in balancing. How will they do? How will they set a benchmark? You can see the speeds of the marbles much slower than what we've seen in balancing in previous events. We'll have to see what the new benchmarks are. One of them, their back marble, Marigold, gets nine points. That's pretty good for them, but none of them made it to the narrow section, so they only get left with a 26. Still, no one placing lower than five. That's a fairly consistent run for the Yellow Lotus. Their rivals, the Blue Lotus, will be up next, having to beat that 26 benchmark set by the Yellow Lotus. Blue Lotus, I wouldn't say they're as good as the Yellow Lotus in balancing, coming off a fourth place in the relay, barely missing the medal, and I don't think this performance is good enough to try to get on the podium. Look at that. Iris, their captain, getting off at just two. Bluebell, their second marble, getting eight. For the other two, five, that's only 20, but an average of five per marble, and it is certainly not what the Blue Lotus hope for. They've got to be hoping for more than that. But now, Team 3 of 16, the Shadow Riders are championship leaders and gold medalists of the last event. Also one of the best teams in balancing, one of the best teams overall in the Team Cordula Marble League. Oh, but that was a nasty exit from the beam for the first two marbles. But look at this, Gloom, their back marble, saving their run, making it all the way to 15. We know how capable Gloom is from the individual league. They're showing that here. And that is going to put the Shadow Riders in the lead. It should. Yes, it will. 29, just three clear of the Yellow Lotus. First three marbles underperformed just a bit, but Gloom, but that 15, puts them in the lead thus far. Now, their rivals, the Deep Divers, and our defending champions of the team league. Fourth place in balancing in Season 1. How will they do here? Oh, that was absolute disaster. The Deep Divers. What was that? Look at this. Deep Divers, it's been terrible for them in the first three events. This is going to be no different. 15, that is tied for the worst run we have seen in balance. Of course, the Deep Divers, certainly not the worst in balancing because we've seen that the runs in this event aren't as good, probably because of the different stadium, but the Deep Divers, oh, that's just terrible for them. Got to be hoping they can, they can do more from next event. But now, for the fifth team, our hosts, the Slime Balls, coming off a last place finish in the relay. But they're certainly going to do better here. Their captain, Slimy, gets 20 points. And that's the first marble that gets all the way to the end in this event. That looks like it'll be good enough for them to take the lead. Also a pretty inconsistent run, like the Shadow Riders. But they got a full 20 with their captain, Slimy. And sure enough, it is 34, 5 points clear of the Shadow Riders, Slimy 20, Uzi 7, Muddy 5, and Slippery just 2. You can see they changed up their order once again. You can see how much effort they are putting in to improve on their Season 1 outing. Now, Team 6, Team Atlantic. Decent at balancing it seems like. They were pretty good in the qualifiers. Oh, but that was, that was nothing short of terrible. Team Atlantic, that might be worse than the Deep Divers, we'll have to see. Look at this, two of them going straight to the near side, the other two to the far. Orca, their reserve, gets a two, they're subbed in because their captain is still sitting out due to their injury. And Team Morale is low, their team just dropping like a fly since their first event. Now, Team 7, the Majestic Melons are record holders. They're certainly having a lot of ex expectations in this event. Oh, it's not going to be fantastic. They're certainly not going to better their record or even come close to it. There was a decent run, definitely on the better end of what we've seen in this event. 
two of them falling early, though the other two making it pretty far down. But I don't think any of them managed to make it to the narrow section. No, Cantaloupe, the best marble, only got a nine. So that's just good enough for fourth place. The Majestic Melons are not going to be making the podium here in balancing. But it certainly could have been worse for them. Now to round out the first half of runs, the Olive Orbs. Down in the order, poor outings in both the first two events, and it looks like it's going to be the same here. The Olive Orbs, what was that? Look at this. The two of them, once again, to the near side, they seem to stay on a bit longer than Team Atlantic, and they do beat Team Atlantic, but they only get 15. That's tied with the Deep Divers, but the Deep Divers win based on the tiebreaker. But after the first half, it is the home team, the Slime Balls, with the lead, followed by the championship leaders, the Shadow Riders. Could the Slime Balls be on for another medal? They just need to hold, Just they, they can only have two teams beat them if they want to get a medal. Maximum of two teams. But now, the Golden Cheeses are ninth team, and that was terrible. The Golden Cheeses have also had a terrible outing in the first two events. Just three points. They're in last right now. And the Golden Cheese, it looks like it's going to stay that way. They only beat Team Atlantic, also getting 14. Beating Team Atlantic based on the tiebreaker only. Now, the Bobble Squad. Not great at balancing. They got last place in this event in Season 1. And are also fairly down in the order. Have to see what they have done to improve here. All of them staying on. Two of them fall off. But the other two making it to the narrow section. And one of them stalls on the border between the 12 and the 15. We'll have to see what the stewards decide. Whether they're going to give that 15 to them. Look, I think one of them, that is Bobble, making it to the 15. Santa stalling right between the 12 and the 15. And they're saying no. Santa is not going to get a 15. They're only getting a 12. But it doesn't matter. They... Go into the lead with a 39, the Bobble Squad. What an improvement from their Season 1 balancing run. They have now overtaken the Slime Balls for the lead as they head to Team 11 Valley Dashers, also a good team in balancing. They won their group in the qualifiers. How will they do here? Oh, the, again, like the Shadow Riders, a really nasty exit from the beam. Their captain goes hurtling off the course. Look at this, that was way too disjointed for their liking. One of them makes it to about a 7, yes it was, just barely. And they get a 14 as well, beating just two teams based on the tiebreaker. That's Golden Cheeses and Team Atlantic. But certainly not good for the Valley Dashers, who had got a 5th place in the last event. Now, the Green Lotus, also not great at balancing. They change up their order. The captain is in the back. And it's going to work for them very well. The Green Lotus get their captain who's at the back instead of the front like all of the other teams are doing. And they manage to hold on very well for 20 points. The Green Lotus. Have they taken the lead? Their captain triumphant in there. They're celebrating. It seems like no, they haven't. By two points, the Green Lotus don't beat the Bobble Squad. Because Clover... Gets an 8, Cactus just a 3, but they go into 2nd place, and it's certainly very good for them. But after 12 teams, the Bobble Squad is in the lead still. They are guaranteed a top 5 finish. The Sinister Sprinters, though, they won Group B in balancing in this event. They are a pretty good team in this event. We'll have to see. Can they do what it takes? To get on that podium, oh, it's not happening at all. The Sinister Sprinters, just another one of those runs where it just completely fell apart from the get-go. Look at this. They had a separation in between before they even came through the drop and all of them getting a four. Well, that is consistent, but consistently bad for them. Just getting 16th. It's a miracle that there's so many teams even doing worse than that. But now, in the final three runs, Bobble Squad, if the Poison Ivy here don't beat them, they're guaranteed a medal. Poison Ivy, though, coming off a of silver in the relay. That was a fast exit, but it works out well for them for once. Despite having so many other teams having nasty exits from the beam, the Poison Ivy managed to keep it under control. And they try to stay to the far side. It seems like it worked out for them. Venom gets 15 for them. And they go into fourth place, just missing the podium from the slime balls. 
Now, oh, that's just one point off the slime balls. It's pretty unlucky for them, but the Poison Ivy are doing well in the league thus far. Now, that means the Bubble Squad is guaranteed a medal. The Floundering Fish, can they get on the podium? Floundering Fish are not great at balancing, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a fantastic run. Two of them make it fairly down, so it's going to be mediocre, I think. Their Captain Koi Boy speeding ahead of the rest of the marbles. They will get a decent score as well as Goldfish. They get 7 and 9 respectively, but 22 is only good enough for 8th. They'll be top half if the Efficient Eggs, the last team, don't beat them. Bubble Squad guaranteed no less than Silver. Green Lotus also guaranteed a medal. But now, the Efficient Eggs, they're not great at balancing. Can they do it? No, they will not. They will not challenge for the win. They will not challenge for the podium. So that means that the Bubble Squad will win gold. Efficient Eggs, look at this, two of them coming to the near side and the other two going to the far. They, it's only good enough for 10th place. So the Efficient Eggs do not challenge Bubble Squad. Redemption for them after getting 16th in balancing in Season 1. They stand atop the podium here in Season 2 in balancing. Green Lotus, the first Lotus team to make the podium here in Season 2, and the Slime Balls, the first team, the home team, to get two medals in this league. But the Bubble Squad are absolutely overjoyed. Look at them on the podium, coming off last place in the first event of Season 1. They will now shoot up the standings for sure, up nine spots into fourth. Shadow Riders keep first place, slime balls go back up into second, poison ivy despite getting fourth, drop to third. Then it's the bubble squad, floundering fish, efficient eggs, blue lotus, and yellow lotus, green lotus also rising up many positions.